Nature's best, Bobtail. Now we all love cuddling with our dogs. Believe me, they love cuddling just as much. But what if you have a large breed of dog? It could be potentially damaging to your furniture, like your couch or your bed. For instance, if you have a large breed of dog, runs in from the garden with his muddy paws and just jumps on the couch because he's so used to sitting on the couch and cuddling with you. How do you approach that? Well, luckily we have Karis Bryan, animal behaviorist, to give us a couple of good hints on how to approach cuddling with your big dog. Karis, good morning, welcome, welcome. Thank you. So uh, this is the problem with large dogs, you know, if they are used to, from the beginning, be on the couch, you know, they're gonna do it all the time. And you don't want that if you have a large dog. Look, it, some people do and that's your choice, but yeah. the, the unfair thing many people do with their puppies is when their puppy is little, or yeah. relatively little, if you've got a Great Dane, they'll allow the puppy on the couch because they want the cuddles and then when that when that big puppy hits sort of six seven months old ten months old suddenly it's too big and people get very upset about the dog on the couch mm. it's a very stressful strange thing for a dog for the routines to suddenly change like that if he's always been allowed on the couch yeah so for a dog like Bella Bella is always going to be welcome on the couch Bob is always welcome on the couch so for her mm. it's perfectly fine for now that she's on the couch from kind of day one because she's little <laughs> if you and and this is where people need to be honest with themselves and their personalities about yeah. um their household if you cannot picture your puppy as an adult on yeah. the couch you mustn't let them on there when they're puppies because it's That's oh it. it's very difficult to get them off and it's confusing and stressful for the dog so it's about establishing boundaries when you have a puppy and also i mean taking into consideration what type of breed of puppy you have exactly and if you're not what for some people not walk their puppies too much everybody should but some yes. people don't and as you said earlier if you plan to walk your puppy or if you've got a big garden where your dog's likely to be wet yeah. or likely to be muddy and they're used to coming up and jumping on the couch it's a yeah. major problem that you can have That's it. so if you have got a large breed puppy and you want to cuddle the puppy okay. there's a very very simple solution are you ready i am ready this is the solution okay you sit on the floor <laughs> okay okay all right i know this is complicated this is very complicated this is very complicated Wait. okay <laughs> You sit on the floor and you can have yeah. a cuddle. If you're watching television, put a towel down. You can enjoy that close cuddle time, but it's that the puppy yeah. is not allowed up there on the couch. Okay. Okay. But it, can you still, if you if you if you are facing that problem, you not you know you didn't get your puppy to cuddle on the floor, mm -hmm. but now he's bigger and he's used to being on the couch. Can you kind of learn him not to do that? You can. I know it's unfair, but no, you, you absolutely can. It's just frankly, it's a lot of work. Yeah. And it's more confusing for the puppy. So this is more information. If you have a puppy now. Take a breath, decide if that puppy's allowed on the couch. If not, don't let yeah. them on now. If your puppy does crawl on the couch, the first way to get them off is you, yourself, and as your family, you have to decide we are now consistent the dog is not allowed okay. on the couch. You can allow the dog on the couch sometimes and then not at other times. When you're feeling lonely, you yeah. can let the dog on the couch. And if you're feeling stressed, you can't. Yeah. The rules have got to be consistent for the dog. Well, of course, we've made that decision for Bella and Bob to be on the couch and we are going to be consistent throughout their lives. Karis, thank you so very much. And if you would love any more info, go visit Karis's website. It's happydogs.co.za. Lots and lots of information on there.